Hey guys, Doc Octagonopus here from Crit Hit Machine. Uh, at the end of my last video I posted, which was the speedrun of the Lord of the Rings Easter Egg, um, I said I was going to do a profile of my Salvador build, and when it got to, uh, you know, receiving the, the loot off the racks, I got uh, way too excited with myself. And um, I forgot to uh, show you guys my build, so uh, here it is. Oh yeah, I like pearlescents, by the way, they're very shiny. I, 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 like, I like them very much. Oh, okay, they still haven't fixed the menu glitch. That's uh, that's nice to know. But uh, yeah, here's the build, by the way. Um, I do have the uh, the upgrade uh, pack 2, so to get to the level 72, uh, naturally. Because uh, it's awesome, who wouldn't, be, who wouldn't want to be max level? But uh, yeah, basically I heavily invest into the brawn uh, tree, because uh, because Salvador's a primary tank, so I wouldn't want to take away any of those uh, elements to his, his his gorgeous Mexican body there. But uh, I've got all the usual things, but the main one is you definitely need to take uh, five points into the bus that can't slow down. Because that's like the key element of my uh, speed demon build. It's the reason why I go uh, insanely fast uh, whilst guns are king. Um, in this tree, I focus on taking as many things possible to reduce my cooldown, like uh, increasing my duration of gun zerking naturally. You need that 15 seconds is invaluable, and then there's a 25% natural cooldown rate. Uh, double grenades because it's free, who it's fun. That's for the sake of uh, my two shotguns, which I'll go over in a second. And uh, over here is just uh, quick, you know, nicer to swap guns, etc. And uh, gun zerking whilst in fight for your life is, as far as I'm concerned, extremely overpowered because even whilst I'm down and out, I can. Whilst I'm gun zerking in uh, fight for your life mode, I'm about as fast as normal walking, which, considering the. Uh, horrible crawling speed you usually reduce to. I think that's really nice. It helps you to, uh, you know, if you accidentally die behind like a cover or something, you can crawl around it so they uh, have a, you know, less of a chance of escaping. Cause, uh, too many times have I died and uh, behind a stupid piece of cover by a grenade or something and uh, no more. So uh, I definitely take a point in that. But it's mainly just cooldown reduction, duration, and uh, pure tankiness. You know, I hate being slowed by acid and fire by the stupid spider ants and shit and uh, that's a uh, Nothing. Ah, oh, it's sixty percent. Oh, I said seventy. I wasn't far off. I said I said higher or lower. So yeah, but uh, that that's amazing. You know, you get hit and uh, free movement speed, free movement speed, and uh, this baby right here is uh, the reason that it also happens as well because uh, it increases your movement speed by twenty percent whilst gun zerking. Now that stacks on top of the uh, extra fifty percent, so that's one hundred and fifty twenty percent of that, and then after I get hit, an, an additional sixty percent on that. So. Uh, you're very fast. That's uh, basically entirely centered around and uh, to make sure that you don't die, basically. And um, for my primary weapons, I love the uh, the CC gun. Uh, everyone loves the CC gun. It's overpowered. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best gun in the entire game due to the burst damage and everything. And uh, I really like the sham shield because it allows me to run around and hardly take any damage because 85% chance to absorb a bullet is just a little bit crazy. But um, combining with that, because uh, I go through ammo quite crazy, which is why I also make sure that you take uh, the 10 out of 5 for filter the brim because 50% free ammo, it's, that, that's lovely. But um, they're, they're, they're amazing. But uh, if you're going to try and get a CC, make sure that you get one with a times 7 because it might sacrifice the other stats a little bit, but being able to do times seven at the rate that uh, this gun can fire. And then if I reload, it goes faster. It's like a machine gun and a shotgun. And having all that times seven, well, times 21, because it's the CC as it is, whilst you're wielding. Yeah, the DPS is pretty crazy, as you can imagine. Now, if you stick a B-Shield on top of that, I can take out Bunker whilst I'm level 72 in 3 seconds flat. And that's level 73 for uh, Bunker. The Warrior dies pretty much uh, that quickly. It, um, it takes like 4 or 5 emerges, depending on where you were able to hit it. Uh, depending on where it is, but uh, yeah, it, it, this build can like it's it's tanky, it's super quick, it's uh, it's annoying. No one can catch you. You can get anywhere you want, and it's still amazing at taking out bosses. Whether you need to be uh, the team tank or um, uh, if you're in solo mode and just want to shred shit with the B. So uh, that's my personal Salvador build. I hope you guys like it, and uh, I'll see you next time.